Tensions are mounting tonight between a Colorado congressman and leadership at Aurora's ICE detention facility. Well, late last month, Congressman Jason Crow went to tour the facility after learning the public health issues there, and he was turned away when he made his unannounced visit. And Contact 7 Chief Investigative Reporter Tony Kowalewski is here. You were able to tour that detention facility today. Well, and Ann, Shannon, we definitely did confirm that the tension between the two sides is not dissipated in the several days that have passed. Congressman Crow had reports that there were significant issues with mumps and chicken pox at the facility, and he had questions about the facility's quality of care for the detainees. Today, the facility did invite the media for a tour purpose to create greater transparency. This is the ICE detention facility in Aurora. Our cameras were not allowed inside, showing you now still pictures provided by ICE. We toured much of the facility, including day rooms, health service centers, and the law library. And we learned there are currently nearly 300 detainees being held under quarantine after the facility has discovered three confirmed cases of mumps and six confirmed detainees with chicken pox. That's part of the reason Congressman wanted the unscheduled visit. I mean, a member of Congress should be able to show up to a federal facility and see what's going on there within his or her district. Uh, so that's, that's troubling and again, it has to be fixed. The issues raised by the Congressman, he's clearly been concerned. What's your message to him and the community as they've watched this thing unfold? Yeah, again, questions about the congressman and, and my reaction toward the congressman is not professional for me to, to get into. The congressman has his concerns, and we're going to move forward on the congressman's concerns and try to meet all of those concerns with him. You probably pick up that tension there. Now, Congressman Crow says he still intends to get a tour of the facility. The leadership team at the ICE Detention Center says he is welcome as long as he schedules that visit in advance. Clearly, this issue is not yet resolved. Yeah.